Well, actually, this is take two. I taped this video earlier, but you know what? Um, for some reason or other, the sound didn't come through. I want you to see behind me this beautiful snowfall that is uh, moving across from the south to the east coast and uh, in the state of in our particular section of the state of Virginia we were only expecting maybe three to four inches well guess what we got eight and still going I mean it is just coming down so I am so excited because I absolutely love snow I have loved it since I was a little girl which I'm sure many of you have as well and uh, how beautiful what a perfect time you can hear that somebody in the background is actually uh, they're actually out with with a snow blower trying to clear the stuff off I guess they're trying to get a head start before it gets too terribly bad because now they're expecting around 12 inches of snow so this girl is very happy and enjoying the sights of the season I hope your Sunday is blessed. Have a great day. Hello, my friends. I am Leona Dooley, and this is Ebony, Ivy, and Time, where we work hard, we love God and family, and, you know, the rest is just gravy. This week, I'm preparing some black and blue burgers. I have been just having a craving for a good burger, and so this particular burger is moist, um, I, I'm all about the cheese and I like blue cheese so it's got that in it too it has a little bacon and so all of those things are going to be a part of this particular burger I'm going to prepare the burger we're going to have onions and tomatoes and lettuce and all those pretty things that's going to go on it and I'm going to serve it with a side of chips tonight so without further ado let's get ready for that black and blue burger In my burger and in my hamburger, I'm going to place in, I've got about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. I have a teaspoon of Grey Poupon mustard. I'm going to pour that into the hamburger in my little bowl here. I have um, garlic powder, about a half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of onion granules as well, a half a teaspoon of salt, uh, a fourth of it, about an eighth of a teaspoon actually of uh, pepperoncinos, and I have about a half a teaspoon of pepper. And all of that is going to go, I'm going to sprinkle that onto my burger. Now I'm going to mix those up and form the burgers. Now I have about three burgers that I was able to put together, just about all the same size. I'm trying to eyeball this without having to pull out the scale. Of course, you could do that if you're, you know, very particular about it, each burger being exactly the same size. But I think we're going to be okay here. And uh, when I finish making these uh, 
these uh, patties, then we'll, I'll wash my hands real good and we'll be ready to move on to the next step. Good evening. Tonight we're preparing dinner and uh, we are going to have some salmon croquettes, some mashed potatoes, and a little green salad. And I'm going to take you along with us. Now, we're going to take a look at the, the mashed potatoes have already been prepared. That part's easy. Boil some potatoes, put some milk, cream. Um, I add a little butter, salt and pepper, and mash them up and they're ready to go. But the croquettes are a little more involved. So, I'm going to show those of you who may not have ever fixed salmon croquettes how I prepare salmon croquettes and how my family likes salmon croquettes. So, stay tuned. You are looking at two cans of drained salmon. And uh, I've drained them. I took the skin off. I took the little bones that sometimes you find in the can as well, even though you can eat them, but um, I just like to take them out just in case. And uh, I also have some potatoes here, as well as my mixture that I'm going to use for seasoning up the outside of the uh, croquette before I have to start to fry it. So I have on the stove, the oil is heating up and you'll see green pepper. I'm going to add some obey, some of the mashed potatoes to give it a little more substance, and a little bit of Hellman's, to, and that's actually going to replace the eggs. So, stay tuned. Now, some people, instead of using potato, actually use a sleeve of crushed uh, saltine crackers. And sometimes I do that, but um, this way, I don't have to use the flour in the uh, croquette mix. I'm going to add some uh, mayo, and then I'm going to start to mix it up. So, I need to wash my hands first. I'm going to start with a scoop of uh, mayo, and uh, you have to approximate, really, to be honest with you. I'm sprinkling in just a little salt. I'm going to put some pepper in. I have the exact measurements on my blog. Okay. And uh, so I'm going to mix this up. Okay, I have the mixture ready. I'm going to uh, get a plate. I'm going to pour out what I'm going to roll each of the croquettes into. I'll show you how I put those together. And then we'll go to the stove. In this bowl I have uh, cornmeal, uh, onion powder, garlic powder, uh, parsley, black pepper, a little bit of obey, and some paprika, and just a touch of salt. So I'm going to put those together. In fact, I think I'll try to do a little mixing before I even start to pour so that all the good stuff isn't on the bottom of the plate. And then, as it's pouring out, I can uh, mix more. Okay, all that's ready. Now I'm going to take, I have a, a half cup scoop. And I'm going to take a half cup of the salmon mixture, put it into my hand, and roll it into a little, uh, I call it a pone, into a little pone. Then I'm going to put it down in the, in the mix, let it roll around a little bit. If you can see that, I'm rolling it around. And I have wax paper on this surface, so I'm going to lay them on the wax paper until I have at least three. And then I'll go to the stove and we'll start frying them up. Our next pone. Okay. Now as you're rolling it, you're kind of pressing just a little bit so that it picks up 
a good bit of the cornmeal mixture. And you'll see that as you roll in, it kind of rolls out a little bit. I'm going to move all that over, and I'm placing them there. That's two. I'm going to do one more. All right, I got him in. Press and roll. Okay, I have three. So while these are cooking, I'll work on the next three, and I'm going to take you over to the stove. Okay, I have my oil. And um, I had it up, but it was just a little too high. So I'm going to give it just a couple of moments, and you'll start to see it bubble. And we'll be ready to start frying. All right. I have four in. And it really depends on the size of your skillet or how large your pones are as to how many you're going to put into your skillet. Because you want it to... Uh, fry and to fry pretty evenly but you don't want it up too high because what happens is is that they'll brown too brown on the outside and then the insides not done so we want to be able to give it plenty of time to cook so I'll come back all right well this is the first batch and I just turned it over I actually cooked it on one side and I really did it three times. So three, kind of a triangle almost, where you did the back, you did a side, and then you did the other side so that they would all get nice and toasty. Back here, I have the mashed potatoes. I just got through giving them a stir and uh, I'm back there. I've got butter in there to help keep it nice and hot and seasoned. So they're ready when dinner is ready. Well, the last three are in the pan, and in about 12 minutes, they should be ready to come out. I'm warming up the potatoes. Look at how they've tightened up. I put a little extra milk in there because I wanted them to stay hot. So they are ready. I put them on the eye where the fish was, the salmon was cooking. So we're good to go and dinner is ready. So I'm getting ready to plate it up. I love mashed potatoes with peas. And so that's exactly what we're having tonight. I've got those mashed potatoes. I'm going to put them on the plate. Got my peas. I kept them a little loose. And remember, there's a lot of cheese in there. As they cool off, they'll tighten up as well. And now, the salmon patties. And dinner is served. Well, I just pulled the smaller casserole dish out of the oven, and I hope you can see it's still bubbling just a little bit. You feel the heat. I think the heat's kind of affecting my, um, my camera, but um, certainly I put on the cheddar cheese. I wanted extra sharp cheddar cheese. And that's done, and I'm going to cut into it and serve it up on the plate. With dinner tonight, we're having a salad and uh, a 
casserole. Going to use a spatula actually to cut into it because it makes it a little easier to handle. This is really a dish for four. I think it'll be okay on the plate rather than having to put it into a uh, oh yeah there we go and you see that mm, mm, mm. it's hot it's bubbly it smells great I think I probably could have put it into a bowl but why? Okay, I think I'm going to leave that for the first plate. And you know what? As usual, dinner is served. Yum, yum.